Hey there, it's Brittany Chavers and I'm back today uh, with Jesse James Beads to make some fun jewelry pieces using the Self Love line. And we're gonna use this bead mix, nevertheless she persisted. And the cool thing is these are available also on their new U um, United Kingdom UK uh, website. So you can get these if you're in the UK a little bit faster than if you ordered them from the US. So we're going to be using this, uh, nevertheless, she persisted. And I just, uh, that little dragonfly is so cute. Um, and I brought out some seed beads, um, some Czech glass matte aqua pearls, and some different sizes of memory wire from Beadalon. I think we're going to make a necklace today. Um, we're not going to use a whole ring to make a necklace but we'll see we'll see how it, it goes um i want to open up this beautiful pack of beads this is the first time i've used this set and then look they have a cute little pair of wings in there here is oh my gosh the start of the sh the star of the show look at that big um rivoli on there that is so cute okay so we'll need a jump ring to to hang that from our necklace but i wanted to the the mix comes with some aqua pearls but i'm going to add in some extras they are available on their site they're just slightly different color but they coordinate so well with this mix and i really loved the pop of purple and possibly this blue uh, set of seed beads today so I am going to get a jump ring. I'm going to leave this to the side because I'll need it for when we're closing up the necklace later. And I am going to just pop that jump ring on to our dragonfly. And actually, you know what? I'm going to accentuate that jump ring a little bit. I'm just going to open up my seed beads. This is the Peacock Color Trends Seed Bead Mix. Pour out just a few. I don't know how many we're going to use throughout this project. But what I'm going to do, liven up that little bale we're making with our jump ring and pop one on there. There we go, we've got our jump ring, um, our seed bead on our jump ring. Close that up. And if you'd like, you could put several on there. Although it was a little bit more detailed, it might be a little difficult since these are smaller, but I was able to get that one on there. Um, you could fill the entire jump ring. I just like the little tiny pop of purple there. I'm gonna move these out of the way just for now, but we are going to be incorporating them along with the rest of these beads. And then I'm just gonna make like a, a pattern that I'd like my little dragonfly to hang from. I love that little li rivoli in the middle. It's so pretty. All right, some of my favorites in this mix are these um, faux druzy beads. They're so colorful. So I definitely want to get those into the front of my necklace so I can play off the iridescence in the rivoli. Um, there we go. So pretty. Uh, I definitely want to get some of these turquoise rondelles because turquoise is my favorite. I want a couple crystal rondelle spacers. What I'm going to do is um, put a little line of the purple uh, seed beads so our uh, jump ring can hang on those. And then I'm going to use the seed beads as spacers here too. See, I like these little tiny rondelles. I'm going to open up my memory wire and I'm going to cut off a length, not a full ring because we're not making this the loop part. 
And you want to make sure that you use memory wire cutters. If you use your regular snippers or nippers, you will damage them. Um, memory wire cutters are made to cut harder wire like memory wire. Okay, so I am just right now going to slide on my um, pendant. Like that, super cute. And here, if you don't have memory wire, um, something I can recommend is just regular 20 gauge wire. However, this is going to hold the shape that we're uh, keeping, keep, it's gonna stay more round instead of get bent out of shape over time. So then I'm going to put on a bunch of these 11 seed beads. And instead of holding them all, you can Kind of just fish them from the table directly using the wire if you'd like. And then I am going to put on my tiny crystal rondel, then my crystal rondel spacer, a magnesite rondel, and I'm going to put on a seed bead. Not only are these great spacers, they're great to get that pop of color in there. Then my druzy. Let that slide down. Then another seed bead. Like that. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, purple and turquoise together are so gorgeous. And then, um, let's see. See, I think I want to do that one more time. Now, if you want, you can totally do a whole coil of these and make a choker, but we're making a little bit longer necklace today. I'm going to do that again. I have three of those, and then I'm going to put on my aqua pearl. So pretty. That is so gorgeous. And then seed bead. One more of these. Uh, my crystal rondel spacer. my cute little druzy and then my little tiny rondelle spacer and then I am going to just go ahead and do that exact same pattern on the other side all right while I was loading the beads on the other side I put a piece of tape on this side another trick that I use is using um, an earring back like one of those little tiny plastic earring stoppers if you don't want your beads to come off you can also use a clamp but a piece of tape is what I had handy and I am actually gonna leave that on for a moment. And I am going to um, take this side and roll a tiny simple loop. So we're just gonna grab our end and I'm gonna roll it out. Okay, make sure it's well closed so your bead doesn't slide off. Like that, and I'm going to scooch everything down like that. And then I am going to cut this side. And then I'm going to roll this side out. Now, you don't want to do it too tightly because it will start looking like, um, like a straight line. So I'm just going to roll it. And there's going to be a little bit of room between the end of my wire and or my loop and my next bead. Now I can always change that if I want it to be a little bit tighter. I can just snip the loop off and make it tighter or I can shorten the little um, end of the loop. So I'm going to see how this looks. Isn't that cute? It's just a little 
fun wire piece and here I'm gonna just try and make it a little bit more round so we have a couple things we can do here so this is a really pretty piece to just hang on a piece of leather you can hang it on some chain you can bead what uh, bead string it up the sides um, kind of got an idea when I was just doing this yeah we're gonna we're gonna actually make this into its own little loop like like I've done in the past with um, memory wire earrings so I'm gonna flatten this a little bit and by flatten I just mean when we had it together here it was a little 3d I'm just gonna move it kind of squish it a little bit and turn it inside there we go it's just a little flatter we want these to lay on top of each other a little well uh, and then if you want it to be a little bit more flush you can put some seed beads next to those crystals I didn't really know I was gonna do this you can put some seed beads next to those crystals but I think I think that'll work really well I'm gonna get out another jump ring Actually, instead of a jump ring, I'm going to get out some 22 gauge wire. This is Beetle on 22 gauge German style beads, or uh, German style wire. I'm just going to cut off a piece. And I am going to take the end here. And I'm going to do a wire wrap, but I'm not going to close it yet. I'm going to kind of keep it open like that, like we would a jump ring. I'm going to take my two pieces, hold them together, and slip them on that loop. Now, it's memory wire. It's trying to, to sling itself back into this position. You just got to be a little patient and it'll work out fine. I'm gonna put one end on and then the other end on. And we'll get it in that loop there. And the wire wrap is what's gonna keep this in place to hang it um, underneath a pendant. And it's okay. I actually kinda like how they're side by side there. I'm just going to take my pliers Hold my wire wrap loop. Hold my wire wrap loop and wrap a few times here. All right, so now we have a cute little pendant. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's getting better by the moment. <laughs> and I am going to snip with my regular pliers here because this is regular German style wire. Snip that little tail. Okay, so now we have the beginning of a pendant that is so pretty. And I think we're gonna take this big boy crystal, just the big boy crystal and one of the druzy beads, and then I'm gonna wire wrap that into a loop that we can hang on our necklace. I'm gonna just wire wrap that. I have quite a bit of wire here, and I think I'm just gonna make a pretty messy wrap here. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna straighten that loop out a little bit up here. So it's getting a little tiny and it's coming down a little bit, but you wanna leave stuff like that in the video so you can see how to fix it. So I'm gonna take my pliers and just pick it up a little bit and hold on to it and wire wrap, continue to wire wrap. Okay, and then before I'm finished, I am just gonna bring that wire down my druzy, wrap once around the, the druzy and the crystal in the middle, okay? 
and then I am going to come down my crystal and here we've got a little bit of a kink now I would use my nylon jaw pliers to straighten that out a little bit but if you don't have nylon jaw pliers try warming the, the wire up with your fingers so it'll be a little bit more malleable there we go it's just a little bit straighter be a little bit easier for me to work with and I'm actually also work um, uh, I'm actually also warming it up with my fingers I'm gonna hold the top and just guide that around my crystal and then I'm gonna wind up right where we wire wrap the crystal onto our memory wire do a couple loops there and then I will trim it in the back tuck that in a little bit and you can see we got a little twisted so I'm just gonna straighten it there we go very pretty so now we have a wire wrapped pendant and I think it's gorgeous it's so pretty and then there's some wiggle room on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to string on to a necklace. So you can use chain here. I have some really pretty chain reaction and you can use even a couple pieces if you wanted. This one has silver on it. That's really pretty. I think we're gonna use that in the back. And I am going to end up stringing a little bit here and then closing it off in the back with the chain. We're making like a double pendant. We have a huge pendant down here, hanging on another pendant up here. This is gonna be a little bit longer necklace. So what I'm gonna do here is just kind of grab some bead stringing wire. I have 19 strand beetle on bead stringing wire and this is in silver. And I am actually gonna start between two of these crystals for our pendant. I think that's really pretty. I'm gonna put on a seed bead. Actually, I'm gonna put on two seed beads here. And then I put on one of these little teardrops in aqua. And I'm just gonna start stringing some beads that I think will look nice going up the, the uh, necklace. And then here, I'm gonna start using these uh, check glass matte aqua pearls. And I am just going to put one on and space with a, a purple seed bead until it's the length I'd like. This is gonna be a longer necklace. I like them to, when it has a big focal like that, to hang pretty low. I'll finish the back with the chain reaction. All right, I'm gonna grab a crimp bead, throw that on my wire find my the end of my chain reaction and these um, split rings on the chain reaction are memory wires so you want to use if you're going to cut them you're going to want to use memory wire cutters so cut that with that 
just like that. And then I want to, the back is not going to matter too much to me, but I want to find a place somewhere in the chain that um, if I cut it, it will be similar on both sides. So let's see here. Because if I just attach the wire to this and then to this side, the sides are going to be asymmetrical and I don't really want that for this necklace. Right. I'm going to cut this mid bar off. And I'm just going to crimp onto my chain reaction. Slide that on, slide it back through your crimp bead. I'm gonna grab, grab my crimping pliers, make sure my wires aren't crossed and slide that down leaving a little wiggle room. And then um, I'm gonna set that crimp bead into the largest value of my crimping pliers and squish or fold if you wanna be boring. <laughs> and then um, just do it again, uh, moving up my crimping pliers. And it makes it into a little bead like that. I'll just slide that through a couple beads, cut that off. Just the extra tail. Slide my beads down, and then I am going to go ahead and string the other side. All right, this necklace is gorgeous, um, and it's the perfect length. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close it off with a clasp, but I wanted to show you the necklace so far. So we've got our beautiful pendant, our second pendant that we wire wrapped, and then the other thing I like about using seed beads as spacers is it kind of looks like um, you knotted your necklace from far away, but you didn't take the time or the effort to knot it, and it, that's okay, sometimes you want a quicker project. Um, and if you don't know how to knot, this is a great way to get uh, that look without um, knotting. I'm going to grab a tinier jump ring because the hole in the chain reaction is a little bit smaller. We're just going to find the end. Hook that on and put on our clasp. that close that up and then I have a larger jump ring for the other side because that side had uh, finished in a wire wrapped loop and this is uh, we want a larger jump ring so we can hook in with our clasp so there we go beautiful 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 gorgeous stunning <laughs> <laughs> and that little dragonfly really makes it. I love his little belly. So, so cute. I love how sparkly this is, how summery, um, and I can't wait to wear it, and I definitely will be wearing it a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Jen Jesse James Beats for having me back, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.